Hi there, Greg Holmeson, the Philippines Recruitment Company, to answer the burning question. We are now back up and running. We are recruiting feverishly out of the Philippines and we're landing people into the country. So the question is normally, tell me about their skills. Can you confirm that the skills are good? That's not we're getting asked, what we are getting asked right now. I think being in this business now for 10 years and having landed over a thousand people into the country, we have got that nailed. So the question is that I get asked every time I speak to a client is, will I get my people? And if so, when? Now that's the burning question and that's the one that um, isn't easy to answer because it's how long is a piece of string. But what's pretty simple is that we've been able to get people into the country under travel exemptions. Now, you can apply for a travel exemption when you go to lodge the visa if your company is involved in essential services. So, logistics, mining, um, medical, infrastructure, construction, they're the industries that are allowed to apply for a travel exemption. Where we haven't got it at this stage is with motor vehicle dealerships, so light vehicle mechanics. At this stage, when working for dealerships, haven't been seen as essential. So we haven't applied at this point in time. But this is where it gets interesting because the process takes six months anyway. A big chunk of the process is getting people selected. We do all the background checks, we pull all the documentation together, we do the trade skills assessment uh, with VetSS, then we pull everything together ready to lodge the visa. Now this is where some clients are saying, let's get this started anyway, but let's not lodge the visa until we know we're either going to be able to get an exemption or it's a different state of the economy anyway. Because when things do open up, it will then only be a month before you can land your candidate because all the work's been done. So if we wait until we can see clear air, even with these skills that we can't get in right now, it's going to be six months from when we start. And that last piece actually is a big chunk of the money because that's the Skilling Australia Fund and the visa. So we can save that, not spend it. We only charge as we use the funds. So to recap, if you're involved in essential services, we can apply for travel exemptions and we have been successful. Sometimes not the first time, but we have been successful and that's what we're still doing at the moment. If they're not essential services, get the process started because by the time we can get them in, it's only a month or so before you'll be able to land your candidates. There is a massive wave of skills shortage coming. We have been so busy, we are inundated with inquiries and we are going to be full very soon. So if you'd like more information, please shoot me back any questions you've got. I'm very happy to jump on a Zoom call in person if at all possible, although we're in lockdown here at Perth at the moment. But please reach out, happy to chat this one through. Greg Holmes in the Philippines Recruitment Company with all things Philippines Recruitment. Cheers.